And away from that, the national treasury and county governments are at loggerheads over disbursement of funds to the devolved units. Now, governors are threatening a total shutdown in counties, claiming that treasury is yet to release funds to the counties. But treasury says there are no arrears owed to counties after 30.8 billion shillings was disbursed early Monday. CS Treasury John Bardi says county governors have failed to utilize billions of shillings lying at the Central Bank of Kenya. Stephen Leto reports on the latest clash between counties and the national government. Counties are on a crossfire with the National Treasury over funding to the devolved units that triggered an extraordinary meeting of the Council of Governors early Monday. While governors decry of lack of money, Treasury CS John Buddy says national government owes counties no single penny. We demand that the National Treasury immediately releases funds owed to counties, failure to which the county governments will have no option but to shut down operations completely. Today, as I speak, we have transferred all the money that should go to the counties up to the end of October. They have the money from October going backwards. Let them go and pay salaries. Let them go and pay contractors. Let them make this country liquid. There is money for them. According to governors, counties are suffocating in financial frustrations. We cannot be in... November, towards the end of November, moving to December, and are still talking of August and September release of funds. To kifika pale na kukwambe katika haya mazungumzo, itatubidi tu kufunga na kuwaomba wafanyikazi wetu wende nyumbani wakajitatea kule mbele. We have not paid, in, we have not paid campsa, we are not having drugs in the facilities. Well, in actual sense, it is the effort of all those other agencies to frustrate counties that have has contributed to this. In documents seen by Citizen TV, a total of 158 billion shillings has been released to counties since July 2024 at the onset of the financial year. The latest disbursement being Monday morning when the Council of Governors was breathing fire in Westlands, Nairobi. We have transferred money later. The country should know there is money with the counties up to the end of October. Let them come again and ask me for the month of November. In fact, even before they come, I will transfer the money for November. But saying that might, we have not transferred money, that is being mean to Treasury, and that is distortion of facts. Treasury is accusing counties of low absorption of funds released to them. According to the report from the Central Bank of Kenya, Nairobi City County, for instance, has 6.4 billion shillings lying idle at the CBK. Mombasa is yet to utilize 2.4 billion shillings, while Kisumu has 2.6 billion shillings awaiting Governor Professor Peter Nyangnyongo to spend. 3.9 billion shillings is awaiting expenditure from Kiambu County, while Nakuru has 2.8 billion shillings at the CBK. COG Chair Ahmed Abdullahi Zwajia County also has 2.8 billion shillings idle at the CBK. Bomet has 2.2 billion shillings unutilized, while Kakamega County is sitting on 4.1 billion shillings at the Central Bank of Kenya. In total, all counties have had 109 billion shillings at CBK. On Thursday 14, in the CRF account, there was 49.13 billion, which counties are yet to draw. And this 49, 32.8, you can't blame them for, because 32.8 was just transferred the same day of Thursday 14. But there is 16 billion which has stayed in the CRF account for over a month. Governors have also faulted the control of budget for delay in approvals of expenditure. The delays by the control of budget to approve requisitions for the withdrawal of funds. This is unacceptable to an institution that's supposed to be facilitated. Counties also want the National Assembly to drop its hard stance in the ongoing mediation of Division of Revenue Bill. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.